Hey, this is Nate Story, and uh, we're going to do a quick video now on the pros and cons of light bars versus, say, fixtures. So the, the 325 and all of these fixtures, they have fans. So they've got fans that are actively uh, blowing a lot of the time and cooling the board. They've got this big aluminum heat sink in there, right? And that um, fan is blowing over that board and cooling it. With these bars, we don't have that, right? We don't see that. Um, and so these have to get the, rid of that heat passively. So these are just basically dumping heat into the growing environment. And um, there's a limit on what you can do without active cooling. And so that's kind of the big difference between fixtures and bars. So a lot of people ask us about light bars and they ask us, you know, why would you choose a light bar over a fixture? And there are a lot of different reasons for that. Um, for the folks of us uh, who do vertical plane production, bars tend to be a little bit easier to orient in a way that lets us uh, shine light, get it really close to our growing face, and get really good coverage on our growing face, and allows us to do it a little bit better than most fixtures do. So there, there's benefit there. Um, they're also a little bit more flexible. So fixture type um, systems, they're designed to be hung for overhead lighting in a greenhouse. They're designed to be hung up and to shine down on all of the product. And so they tend to be pretty high intensity. And we really like that. That's, that can be a really great thing in some uh, scenarios, but it does limit their flexibility sometimes. And it does make us do some weird things to get really good coverage from time to time. With light bars, we don't have nearly as many issues. These, we can rig up a whole bunch of them side by side to get really nice, even coverage, get them really nice and close to the growing face. And then they're really, really flexible too. So um, if we wanna take something like uh, one of these lights and put it under the canopy and shine up, you know, and basically supplement light from beneath the plants, we can do that. We can't necessarily do that with a fixture. Um, if we want to use it more like interlighting, uh, then we can do that. We can hang that, and we can't really do that with a fixture. Um, there's also kind of a ruggedness issue that I tend to like a little bit more about bars. Now, you don't ha necessarily have a lot of ruggedness with everything. Like the Luma bar here, you wouldn't want to drop on the floor, right? Um, because it's a little bit more of a, um, it, it would probably be all right actually, but it's a little bit more of an engineered product. But something like, um, you know, these totally contained battens, we can spray them, we can get them wet, we can drop them. Um, you know, the Philips is a great example of a fairly tough light. Um, you know, these things are relatively sturdy compared to most fixtures, which have a lot of moving parts. They've got fans. They have kind of a lot of things that make them a little bit more delicate. So we, we appreciate that as well. Um, I guess the, the other thing is just uh, the fact that a lot of these can be sealed up really, really nicely. So when we're spraying, uh, when we're applying uh, herb, uh, insecticide or when we're washing things down, we typically don't have to worry quite as much about bars as we do about fixtures, which are typically, you know, require fans. They're not usually waterproofed. Um, fixtures like this, these, these, these fixtures are fairly well waterproofed. So that's another big benefit. Um, the cons, of course, are that we can't pack as much light into an area, typically with these bars, as we can uh, with an actively cooled, uh, high-intensity fixture type light, right? So we sacrifice, for the utility, for the um, nice uh, coverage, we sacrifice a lot of power. Um, if I were to get a LumaGro Pro 325 and turn it on out here, we'd have 325 watts of power on a board this big, right? Whereas, you know, in order to get uh, half of that on like our most high intensity bar fixture, we have to have this really elaborate baffle system to get rid of that heat. And so we just don't get quite as much oomph out of bars as we do out of fixtures. Although there are some things coming to market that I think will change that. Uh, by and large, we really like bars and there are a lot of great products out there. Um, if you haven't watched a previous video on the different kinds of bars, please do. I go through them and I talk about the different kinds of lights out there that you can use. Um, with everything, you just need to know the differences between all of the different products and make the best decision for your growing environment. If you guys have any more questions on bars or lights or what have you, uh, make sure you ask the questions below. Also, check out our lighting guide. We put this thing together. It's a super non-biased guide to all the different kinds of LED lights out there, how they work, and some of the pros and cons. So check that out, too. It's a free resource. Definitely, definitely take advantage of that. 
Uh, thanks so much for watching, and as always, please subscribe.